hello guys welcome back to my channel you can see how beautiful this cow neck is looking please stay tuned and watch how we make this gorgeous cow neck and if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you do so let's go ahead to the walking table Our well, focus is mainly on the front part because I'm using this front part to teach you how to draw a cow neck. So right now what we'll be doing is be using this pattern now to cut a cow neck pencil gown. When you want to draft your cow neck, it's advisable you use a thick material, a stretchy material that can just fall easily to form the cow neck. So this is the fabric I'll be using for it. So what I'll be doing next is to Remember this is my chest line, my breast point line, and my waist line, and this is my hip line. So our focus will be at the upper part of our breast. I'll come up here on my chest line by 2 inches because I want my cow neck to start from the shoulder, the shoulder, from the shoulder to the breast point. So I'll just come up by 2 inches above my chest line because that's where my cow neck will be starting from so i'll just rule that out so i'll be using slash and spray metal to draft my cow neck down so our cow neck will be starting from my shoulder line and be stopping out at my breast point I don't want the cow neck to go too deep, but if you like, you can make yours reach up to your waistline, depending on how deep you want the neck to be. So what I'll be doing now is, I will slash it up to this point. I won't be cutting it out entirely. Remember, I came up by 2 inches from my chest line. Slash it. You, you, you cut it, maybe like half inch okay so this is what I'm having I'll just use this for the to hold it up here I don't want it to be moving I want it to be stable like this so this is how it will be Right now, I won't be using another fabric to cut it out. So I'll just place it on my fabric and cut. And remember, this cow neck is only at the front part of your dress or blouse. You use the same method for both your dress or blouse, whatever you are cutting. I'm using the same method to cut it. This is a very stretchy material. Like I said before we started, that you have to use a material that falls easily like it should be a little bit stretchy or not that light like a thick chiffon i think chiffon will do the magic so what i'll be doing i'll be placing my pattern on it i just place my pattern like this then i'll use my pin to hold it up Sorry, I'm having excess fabric. I will have to reduce it up a little. Okay. okay. You can see how it is. You can spread it as much as you want. But I'm okay with this. Okay. After spreading it out like this, I will just trace out my body shape using adding half inches, half inch extra for same allowance I'm adding half inch because the material is very stretchy mind you I changed to my chalk because I wouldn't want to use my marker on my paper so I'll just mark half inch or through to my hemming line or trace out the armhole this material can be very tricky so you have to be careful. So 
Okay, I've finished tracing out my lines. Sorry about my chalk. I'll just trace from my shoulder line. From my shoulder, I'll draw a straight line to this point. You will not cut out your neck because if you cut it out, you won't get what you want. So you're just drawing a straight line like this to this point. Just connecting the straight line. I believe you can see what I've drawn. So this is it. I'll just cut it out now. If your material is not as stretchy as mine, you can go ahead and add one inch, two inches for seam allowance. So this material is very stretchy. That was why I used just half inch for my seam allowance. So this is what I have. You can see, I just stress it out to the down part. My back dress will not be having a cow neck. It will just be normal basic body pattern. I'll just cut it out. So I'll just join the shoulder. If you join the shoulder, you to see how it will fall. I'll just go ahead and join the shoulder and with my back part which I've cut out already this is just the main focus of this tutorial which is the cow neck you can see how it's looking if you want it wider you just keep on expanding the cow you just keep on expanding if you want it deeper to your waistline you cut out that part as well so that's it I'll just join it now and show you what it will look like okay this is my back this my material is very stretchy, so I won't be needing a zipper allowance. There will be no zip in the gown because it's very stretchy. This is my back. I just traced it out. Traced out the shoulder slope and everything. And this, this is just a normal body pattern drafting. So this is how it will be looking. I just joined the both shoulder together to show you how it will look. This is my cow neck. You can see how beautiful it's looking. You can see how fine. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you find this video useful, turn on your and ensure to turn on your notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.